how many of y'all boys fell in love with the trick that was getting trained? Everybody did. Hey, listen, I'm not going to lie. Everybody. I'm not going to lie. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. <laughs> once, yeah. once I know you the runner, there's a block on my heart. There's a blockage. <laughs> we like, can't call man, somebody got to do it. Somebody there's boys out there who wife it. Look, 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 ain't nobody on this panel this panel going minutes. Ain't nobody going minutes. Hey, what? You saying was in love with, with 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 the one that got tag team? Yeah. Hey, I mean, not me. Team. Not me. <laughs> hold, on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get some context. Let's get some context. In bro. love? In oh. love. You said in love, dog. In love? Bro, no. Hold on, bro. Let me ask you. Look, 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 you ain't got to be y'all, though. But right now, it's some sucker. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's vice versa where a nigga tagging the, the whole group. And she fell in love with that dude. Got kids by the You saying you know what I'm saying? She she husband that nigga. This like it's a it's a man out here. You know, she done did the whole clip. And look, they got kids now. You know what I'm saying? They ain't married, they married, they doing their thing. You ain't supposed to wife the girl everybody ain't was fun with. You said that. But but I'm saying right, but it's done. Like, it's done. I'm not saying I mean, that, oh, that, that don't make it right because it's that done. walk. Yeah, that voodoo walk, baby. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Call it what it is. Usually when that happens, people settle for what they can get. That's what it that's what true, it is. True shit. Come on, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm tired of the cat. People settle for what they can get. That's so convenient. That's it's convenient. Yeah. Yeah. A man gonna get his best option. A man gonna take his best option out there. That's true. That's everybody true. can't everybody gonna get Beyonce shit. Let's get that true. True. As a as a man involved. In oh, my opinion, say, or, or almost Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, I feel like as a man evolved, it should get to the point that whoever it, it might you might find out a uh, shorty used to mess with somebody that be like, damn, you mess with this dude, I can't mess with you. Like, I don't know. That that might be just be me, but I see that stain on your record. That's gonna fuck up anything like going forward. Like, you fuck with him. No, nah, me and him ain't the same. I'm sorry. Okay, well, since everybody's so free and liberating. <laughs> right now is the reverse poly relationships. So, no. so Rob, you you know what I mean? Hold on now. You said women could be with 800 men, but you can't. What are you talking about? I mean, yeah, I, look, right, but. Bro, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not like when everybody talking about that time, bro. I'm not bumping balls with you, bro. If she bad, you couldn't share no woman. She was bad. I'm talking nope. about. If she was bad, I don't care how bad she is. Make I'm it not good. Good. Man, look, bro. It ain't always the money, bro. I get, I get my own quarter million. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying, right? You feel me? I'm, I'm, you know what? No. I'm keeping a hundo. Those. She's supplying the bread to have that set up. That's why I bought bread into it. She's supplying the income to have two dudes at her side. They ain't paying for that. If they had the money, they wouldn't be there. You understand? I mean, that, can, that can work. I mean, it can work, but it's just not with me personally. But I mean, it could work. It worked. It worked yeah, the other that, way around. That's why I bought bread up. But yeah, she forking over that bread. She paying for the lifestyle. Fact. Tuh. Not this woman in that video. Them was two beta simp ass niggas. So, <laughs> she, that's bad. Hold oh, no. on. What's it's yeah, April on this panel? Raise your hand if you could put yourself in that position with another man under any circumstances. Fuck. Nah. <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. So, so that, that, that's some, huh? What we talking about? <laughs> Get in here, banger. What's your thoughts? Well, we keep looking at that way. Can, can, can y'all do polygamy in any fashion, right? Because a lot of men always say they want two, three women. Is that is that for you? Is that something down the line you might want to entertain? Or not? Hell, look, man. Hell no. Nah. I'm not about to participate <laughs> alongside of another man. I'm not. I'll, I'll say it. You want another mug? Well, no. I'm talking about you. You, you and two women, even you and two women, just any form of me with two women. I mean, 
I have the uh, physical attributes to serve both of them. <laughs> but I'd rather use those two attributes on one. At least I'm honest. <laughs> I, having what it, I got what it takes, but I'm, I'm a one person type dude. Okay. I ain't about to go and try to be the Mac of all and no, nah, you know what? That be consistent of a man tricking, and I ain't tricking shit. You gonna work for me if you gonna deal with me. I'm not about to give you no all, all them females be getting money from those. They just don't be tolerating that bullshit. They be getting That's something. True. That forty dollars, that forty dollars be floating and circulating through the hood, fresh in the bar. Well, girl. Well, I'm ideally though, let's say I, ideal situation, right? I'm we all working, right? We all working, we all contributing. Let, I mean, let, it ain't always the case where the man is in the position where he provide for everybody. If we're in a position, we are True. working, you know. But, but there's a there's a limit to that, man. Like like I said, you are dealing with all them people, you know, you go get, you go start aging as well. I ain't even trying to serve two people. I could deal with one. Them attitudes and bullshit. I'm not dealing with too many all different that, man. personalities, bro. Too many different. Yeah, and then you got is. you know you got right. And then you got the jealousy going on. You know what I'm saying? This is what if, what if you, you know, hey, let's let's go out to eat. You know, this you taking that one person though. You just wanted to kick with that one person. Now when you get back to the house, it's gonna be a problem. That's why I mean, you gotta do shit. this one. I don't, I don't know. Two people. It's not possible. I mean, I don't knock the, the whole polygamy movement. Like I, I didn't look into their motives and all that shit what they do. They got some valid reasons. That's cool. I mean, it's either one of those things. If it's for you, it's for you. If it ain't, it ain't. But a lot of females jump into it from what they claim from it being a shortage of good a good men. You know what I mean? So instead of getting mad because homie is full blown in his man, his male nature, you know what I mean? You know, the nature of man is a motherfucker. So instead of shorty being mad, she just invite. Well, boom, if you're going to be doing we're going to pick something. That's going to work for all of us. And that's what they do. I don't knock them for doing that. I mean, but then again, I mean, from a male point of view, when I think about it, that's two arguments you got to have when you argue. That's two different attitudes you got to deal with. And, um, I mean, and, and like there, there's, I've had men tell me like, I had an older relative tell me a long time ago, when you get a wife, get two of them. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I it didn't make sense for a while. But I mean, once he explained, like, you know, a, a, a female to, to serve the nature of man, it's like she need to be what that man needs Monday through Monday through Sunday. You feel me? Like, it ain't going to be no, I ain't fucking with him this week and maybe next week. Like, no, nah, like, I mean, if, if when it comes down to that man's nature, that's when it, it starts going on too long. That's when the man, his, his attention is diverted elsewhere. But that's where they start messing around with that polygamy stuff. And, okay, so he got what he need throughout the week. We got these three incomes. And, boom, I, I, I can dig it. Or sometimes the man completely hold it down. It ain't just a sexual thing. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. I mean, it ain't it ain't a sexual thing. It's a it's a financial thing. It's a from a black standpoint, it's an economical thing. Now it's starting to become. So I mean, it's just if that's your cup of tea, drink it. But otherwise, I mean, shit. I mean, it ain't for me. But I don't knock it though. I tell you what, I ain't I it ain't something I'm looking for. But I wouldn't turn it down. You know what I mean? If, if it was an ideal situation, right? Let's play devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's a lot of men, you know, married and whatnot, but. If the, ideally the right woman could be introduced to a relationship at some point down the line, you know, who knows? You know, you never know. You ain't looking for it. but Okay, okay. okay. all right, all right. I, I feel that. And D.Y., I feel what you're saying, too. But right now, okay, once again, you got married couples out here right now. You got a wife going to the husband or the husband going to the wife like, hey, babe, let's bring her in or Let's bring him in, you know. That you can you literally got that shit going on right now, bro. That's true. Yeah. Girls get hey, I was dealing, I was, I was dealing with a chick, man, and she was like, What you think? You know, I bring bring a chick in. At the time, I'm like, shit, you know, that's both titties I got to suck. You know what I mean? But <laughs> at the same time, I'm like, oh no, that's you know, 
different personalities, jealousy, arguments type of shit. He say she oh no, nah, I ain't about to feel with that by the end of the day, man. And you got I'm just being honest good. with you, bro. I'm just being honest with you, man. <laughs> I yeah, I just think yeah, if a man got the resources and that type of availability and he flexible like that, you know. You know what I mean? I I ain't throwing no ain't no shame. Tell you that. I ain't shaming the motherfucker. I, 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 no, I, no, I'm not. I, it just ain't for me. So. At I'm, the end of the day, I'm, that's I'm, where we come from. Can you go yeah. back? Go back to when they had tribes and shit. You know what I mean? That's what the hell we come from. It'd be me and my household, and I might have another two, three kids over here with this one, and another two, three kids over here with this one. My brother the same. And and you and E got the same, and and, and Willie Walker have a couple, and and, and Law and, and Josh and Jarris and all of y'all have a couple. That's how it was. That's where we came from. But here's like, the thing: it ain't, it ain't new. It was just somebody who wasn't getting enough pussy. It was like, boom, we all getting married. That's how I feel. <laughs> I mean, you are right. That the the, the way it is right. Now is the American way. Yeah, it's the colonizer. Going shit. through court system and all that, man. And over in Africa, man, about you got people who was kings and had multiple families speaking different languages and all. So I mean, I started. You right? You watched that Bob Marley documentary? Did, like, just, Bob Marley. He's a beast. Fruitful. <laughs> like Gavin said, resources. Got to put some context to it. So, yeah, you want to have all these families. I feel half at it. I ain't mad at no brother got a couple wives at all. As long as he got the resources and that shit look good and he making it work and they live in a way that's going to benefit the children. But right. if they just out here broke and fucking, they might they need to die. But, you know what I'm saying, yeah. making babies. Seriously. <laughs> if you just out here fucking making babies and y'all broke, y'all just horny and Y'all just calling it polygamy, whatever. No, but if you got a whole, y'all got a purpose and y'all getting bread and y'all able to take care and, and and raise children in a healthy manner, have at it. Do whatever. There ain't be a polygamy relationship down VT. Let's, you know what I mean? So, hell no. I mean, this is the biggest thing. Like with, you know, polygamy, and I ain't trying to have a double standard. You know what I mean? You know, the men historically has to have more than one wives, but you've never seen historically where the women have two husbands. And the reason is why is the women technically in that point is the dominant one. It wouldn't happen. You got two men. Who's the dominant one out of the men? It's not happening. So, you know, and again, I'm not trying to be like a double standard type of guy, just historically. We've seen in history and still today in African tribes where the man may have multiple wives, but I don't ever recall ever seeing an African tribe or anywhere historically where the woman has had multiple husbands. It's a reason for that. So this new trend right. is, is another agenda being pushed out here. And to me, I'm just, you know, again, it's not for me. I ain't, it ain't necessarily knocking you, but I'm, I'm about to just say, it's weakness for the men, like for real. I'm gonna be real, like I'm gonna say you weak in some fashion. Okay.